Hey, what's going on, man? This is the uh, afternoon commute with your boy BW, also known as Brandon Corey Williams. This is my, it is my government right there. Um, shit just got out of one plantation, get right go to the other. Just a couple of things. Uh, not so much any uh, Kanika Jenkins talk, but uh, see what's going on between straight drop and uh, chosen sugar boots. Chosen sugar boots. There's plenty of receipts out here on you, bro. You might need to go and have your your family members take down they uh they profiles and tell your daddy stop putting y'all that his number up on Facebook, bro. I mean, it kind of goes against what you trying to say. I mean, I mean, I'm just saying. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. But uh, anyway, one of the real reasons I, I wanted to get on here, man. Let's talk about what happened today and uh well yesterday in California. The 13 um the 13 kids aging from two years old to 29. They parents now go look at the pictures. Just go look at the picture of the mother and the father. Can't tell me they don't look like they they out something. That is modern day people under the stars. I promise to God. God, G A W D, not G O W, G A W D. God, that that is some 2018 children under the stars. Not people under the stars. These children under the stars. New movie coming out next summer. It's just crazy, man. I'm just like, oh my god. And I'm, you know, I'm working. I heard. I, I said what? So I sneak off and I Google and I look. Are they serious? Try to use the Bible. Try to use the Bible on them kids. Chained them up. Didn't feed them. It said it was God's will. Made them read from the Bible scriptures. Man, you know what that's gonna do? That's gonna that's gonna that's gonna physically. It was a movie called what was it? Uh, Attic um, Attic of Flowers or something like that. I wonder if anybody's seen that. Uh, about this mother. She came from wealth. It was a mother and her two kids. It was a, a three kids. It was a little girl, two boys. Uh, uh, little girl, older girl, and uh, the brother, older boy. Um, the mother fell on hardships, and I believe the f the granddad and the mother, you know, they was they was uh, rich and uh, living in a big mansion. And see what she did. I guess her mother was real stern on her, so she was like, "Hell with this." As soon as I get the first my first chance. I'm running, you know, I'm, I'm moving, I'm out of here. So that's what she did. Well, like I said, she fell on hard luck and she had to, uh, she had to call back in. She had to call upon her mother. So her mother, uh, talked it over with the grandfather and they, she moved back in with him. Long story short, man, she ended up making the, uh, turning the mother against the kids, locked the kids in the attic, was feeding them poison. Small dosages of it. I believe the uh, I believe it was four kids. I believe it was two boys and two girls. She tried to kill them all. I'm talking about chains of color they heard, all type of shit. Had the mother ready to remarry, met a man that they hand you know that they hand picked for the mother, told him that they didn't that she didn't have any kids. You know, that movie was crazy, but I say all this to say this somewhere. In America, in this world, that shit's happening, yo. Um, I was watching some shit off of uh, some documentaries. It was, it was in Tasmania, uh, over in the Philippines. One of them was some crazy country. They would kidnap your daughter once she gets of age. Like when they trying to, uh, they don't just go ask for the hand in marriage. They kidnap. They go talk to the parents first sometimes, and then they kidnap you. Straight up, they literally kidnapped this chick. They called a friend out her, had her set it up. When she set it up, got her out here about a watering hole. She said, like, you know, go get her. We're going to go buy her about these buckets. Uh, get her to get some fresh water. We're going to snatch both y'all up. That's what happens, man. It was crazy. I couldn't believe it. Like, man, I know all the shit we go through here in America. I don't want to go nowhere else. I wouldn't know how to act. Shit. But anyway, back to the story. So, that shit was crazy, man. Two to 29. You would think whoever's 29, that they would be like, hold on, man, this shit ain't right. 
Look at my little brother. Look at little Joe over at Joe. Joe, I can see Joe's ribs. Joe's pale, like he look like Snow White out here. You know, I'm just like, it's like, man, life is crazy, man. But you know, it's these damn parents. Damn parents, man. Sitting there corrupting their kids like that. That shit, oh my God. Once I get to my phone, man, get to my get to the crib, man, I might go back home and uh do a little video. Let y'all see. Let y'all see what who they look like, man. This shit's crazy. Like, just Google 13 kids found. Let me see, uh, married couple chains up 13 kids in California. That's what you Google right there. It'll pull it up. You'll see the pictures of them and everything. It's like they had a big ass wedding, a, a wedding portrait. That looks crazy. Look at the parents. The parents look nuts, man. That's all I can say about that. Like, that's demons is what they are, man. Straight up demons. Why would you do it to your own kids, though? Why would you do it to anybody? Only like keeping my damn dogs locked up, let alone my kids. I ain't even got no kids. That shit's just crazy, man. Oh, huh, Lord have mercy. But that's cool, man. Oh, so six minutes? Yeah, I've been on long enough. Running my mouth. I can get on back to this money, man. I get with y'all in a little bit.